Well, it's still Youth Month, and as we continue to celebrate young people doing extraordinary things, uh, South African undergraduate students have just scooped first prize at the International Supercomputing Conference 2019 Student Cluster Competition that took place in Frankfurt in Germany. The winning team comprised of four students from the University of Cape Town and two from the University, uh, University of the Witwatersrand. And with us now are two of them, Anita Damelo koch here in Auckland Park with me, and from our Seapoint studios, Stefan Schroeder. And thanks and congratulations to both of you. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> so, so, so let's start with the fun part, um, Anita. So uh, how did it feel when you were announced as the winners? Uh, completely unbelievable. <laughs> still kind of processing that we won. <laughs> uh, so, so you were not expecting it? Uh, no, when they were calling out all the prizes and they called out like third and second place, we all thought like, oh damn, we didn't, didn't even make podium this year. Going to be so disappointed. Then they called us out for first and we were like, whoa, <laughs> we won. <laughs> and, and how was it for you, Stefan? Oh yeah, no, I had the same experience. It was yeah, unbelievable. Um, because they were calling out third, second, and first, and then, yeah, as they called out first, I was still clapping, I was thinking someone else had won, and then we realized that it was actually our team that won, and we completely lost our minds, and then, <laughs> yeah, it was just so much fun. I so wish we had some visuals to take a look at, <laughs> but, but, but let's talk about what you had to do um, to get to uh, the final stages and also to ultimately win. Anita, what exactly did you engage in? Uh, so when we so we got selected in a, another competition that was for South Africa. So all the universities sent through teams, and then the best people from that go to form this team for Germany. And then once you've been selected, you go to America to train for a week, where we're taught how to select hardware and how to optimize all the softwares. And then after that, it was just working until we got to Germany, compiling codes, trying to get them optimized. And then eventually when our hardware came, it was doing the same on that. And then when we got to Germany, it was kind of the last little touches of last optimizations, checking how much power we had to draw for all of our codes and stuff like that. <laughs> so, so you obviously weren't very confident, uh, but evidently you did better than everyone else, uh, Stefan. So where do you think your edge was? Uh, I think our edge came from the fact that we had a very dynamic team. We had a whole bunch of people that... Uh, yeah, really, I think they knew what they were doing. Um, yeah, and we just worked well together. We all had fun, and yeah, I think we try to focus more on, um, yeah, just having fun while doing the competition, but then also making sure that we are doing the competition to the best of our ability. And yeah, I think that's how we managed to put ahead. I like how you say, I think they know what they were doing. <laughs> Does that mean you didn't know what you were doing? <laughs> I hope they knew it. Did not. Um, yeah. But, but how yeah, much of a team effort was it? It, it was Anita. definitely a team effort. Everyone put in so much oh, yeah. work. How much work? Definitely. So we got given six different benchmarks that we had to do. And there were six people in the team. So every person was given one of these benchmarks. And everyone like, took their benchmark and they just worked on it until it was the best that they could make it. And who would you yeah. say uh, was the hardest worker in the team, Stefan? Um, sure. <laughs> I know it wasn't you. Anita you didn't even trust yourself. <laughs> she had two programs to compile, and she sat at the desk working most of the time. <laughs> she didn't get up, like, at all. Whereas I was getting up, running around all the time, having fun. <laughs> but, yeah, she was definitely the hardest worker. <laughs> but, but let's talk about the prize. So what did you actually win, Stefan? Um, we won the Pride for South Africa and a trophy, which CHPC, our company that we're representing, got to keep. And yeah, that was all we needed. <laughs> Just a trophy, no prize money. No, uh, nothing. Trophy and a nice certificate, yeah. Oh, but, but, but that must be quite valuable then. Yeah, it's quite a... <laughs> we're just happy we won. <laughs> no, evidently, I can see that. Um, you know, how do you think you can use this particular experience and this win? And it, of course, it isn't the first time that a South African team has won. But how do you think you can use this as an inspiration for other South Africans? Well, I mean, I would hope that people realize that no matter like who you are, you can get into something like this and you can do well. It's possible for anyone to be able to get to this point. 
And then also um, lots of talk about uh, the fourth industrial revolution, Stefan, and about our preparedness or perhaps the lack thereof as South Africa. How do you think, you know, we rate and, and, and just how much more and where should we be doing more at this stage? Sure. Uh, I think it's quite interesting because I think uh, people think that South Africa isn't very good at um, like keeping up with technology and high performance computing, but we have quite a lot of resources at our hands. And from this competition, you can see that South Africa is quite good at um, this sort of stuff. And I think that we should be pushing more for uh, younger generations to learn more about programming and computers in general, just because it's a good way to teach you how to think and how to process problems and how to solve problems. And yeah, I think that will put us in a good space for the future. Indeed. And, um, you know, you were in Germany and apart from the competition, anything else uh, that you engaged in, Anita? Uh, so when we went, so obviously we did the competition stuff, but then we had uh, about two days where we were free. So we went and we looked around Germany. Any standout moments for you, Stefan? Um, I think my favorite moment was uh, after the competition, we went, we got, we were so tired from the competition, we went to walk around and then at night, I think the sun sets there at half past 10 or something, so we were walking around at night just along the river and it was just absolutely beautiful and yeah, so it's a good experience. Well, I tell you what, thank you so much uh, to the four of you, two of you representing, and please pass the message on to your teammates uh, for, you know, representing this country so well and flying the flag. And uh, that was Anita damello Koch and Stefan Schroeder talking to us about winning first prize, first prize at the recent International Supercomputing Conference 2019 at the Student Cluster Competition in Frankfurt, Germany. We're going to take a break and after that we'll squeeze in maybe one or two more things.